Fairfax Academy means a place where people have these dreams that they want to accomplish and it's like a place where you can start and experience those dreams. I think Fairfax Academy turns hobbies into careers, whether it's photography or videography or fashion and design. Fashion means almost everything to me just because it's always been my way of self-expression. Fashion has always kind of been like my getaway. I mean, fashion is a release um, for me. It's the easiest way for me to express the way I feel. It's definitely something that is hard because it really is at a college level, but it prepares you so well. It prepares you for what you want to do with yourself career-wise, and it just makes things a lot easier, instills confidence in you. I think the journey sort of started two years ago when we first started fashion careers. The second um, you enter the class, the junior year, you know, your first steps into the class, there's this expectation, you know, it's just like we're working from this point on to the end of senior year. We're going to have a fashion show. We're going to, you know, have all this work that we finally endured and have a showcase at the end of our days in high school. Watching your clothes on stage, I can imagine is like the best feeling because it's like your collections come to life like you, you did that. Each of us had a moment to just have our models walk and then you walk out with them and you have everyone see what you did this two years. It was everyone's hard work throughout the year and it really showed off everyone's talent. Today I'm directing all schools in Virginia to remain closed at least through the end of this academic year. Uh, you guys have heard that our fashion show is canceled. Um, and I know you guys were looking forward to it. Um, it's been two years in the works, you know, you guys taking fashion one, learning all the basic skills, you know, the fashion two, you guys learn advanced skills so you guys can you know, develop your collection and such. Um, however, since school is closed, we're going to have to move it to a virtual platform. What do you guys think about that? This class was my make or break class to decide if I want to major in fashion design in college and I decided to stick with it so it was really important in my process. My collection was inspired by this idea that even though something may happen in life that feels like it's the end of the world, it's not. If anything, it's just the beginning. One of the most important things I learned from this class was to be persistent with your ideas and not give up even if things get hard. Just pull through them because at the end it's going to be worth it and you're going to be proud of yourself. My collection was inspired by uh, myself actually. Um, I found a small art book in my grandmother's closet um, that I had done when I was four and so I really wanted to kind of take my first initial recorded pieces of art and represent that transition through four to age 17. The most important thing I learned in this class is it's okay to make mistakes. You just have to make them and then get back up and try again. So I think this class is really important because it gives you a sense of what the industry is going to be like once you graduate. So it's a, really, it's a really good time to be able to play around and experiment before you make a commitment to like a college or something like that. I learned that it's always important to stay true to yourself because um, it can be hard because everyone in this class is extremely talented, but I learned that everyone just has different aesthetics and different processes, and then that made me fall in love with mine, and it really helped me be confident in my work, too. My collection was inspired by the city life, and like cities like New York City and Seoul, and like, uh, like street lights and life around cities. 
Well, coming into this class last year, I wasn't sure 100% if I wanted to do fashion. So definitely having this valuable insight into the industry and just getting, I guess you could say, an advantage kind of solidified that I wanted to do fashion. So my collection, 1984, was inspired by one of the most tragic events in Sikh history, otherwise known as Operation Blue Star. To put into shore, Operation Blue Star was a genocide operated by the Indian government against Sikhs all across India. My collection is inspired by the eerie and unpleasant things in life, as well as Nightmare on Elm Street. I was always terrified of that movie when I was younger, so I wanted to base my collection on the darker and more unpleasant things in life. The most important thing I learned in this class is to embrace and feel safe in who you are, no matter what, and all of who you are, like your failures, because failing is learning, and it'll just lead to your success. My collection was inspired by the New York City Metro Station and their two sick and diverse people in New York. This class was crucial in my future career choice, and going into this fashion class and finding, you know, the, the grit or the determination from all my fellow classmates and my teacher, Ms. Chang, I, I just fell in love with the, the material in the course. So my collection is named Chebre. It's named after my grandmother that recently passed away, and um, my family used to call her Chebre, which means cool in Spanish. So my collection was actually inspired by butterflies and how they go through like their process of life, similar to humans and how we like grow up. So in my collection, I'm exploring ideas around emotional baggage and how it can be reclaimed as a means to empower rather than to weigh down. And I'm, in doing so, I'm sort of drawing parallels between the mental and physical states of the human condition. I was really inspired by women in the 60s and 70s, so the cultural impact that they had, because this was like a big movement for feminism and then like liberation and social and equal rights. And I've always liked learning about times before mine, so I think this was a big impact on me. I feel like my collection turned out pretty well. Uh, there were a few construction errors, like just like random things, but uh, I figured it out with the help of Ms. Chang. When I first took the class, I was pretty de I was pretty determined to have a career in the fashion industry, but once I took the fashion one, it was definitely determined that I was going to have a career in this industry. <laughs>
if this is what I'm going to be doing for the next however many years, well, and I can't do it now, then I think, why am I doing it at all? <laughs> I feel like my why is that having closure and having something that I can look back at in a few years and be like, this was my show, this was my moment. In terms of closure, like just feeling complete with everything, I feel like I really achieved that with the photo shoot. It's been really hard through this process. Like, I feel like there's always been times where I've wanted to give up, but I know that that would make me feel so much worse. And like, yeah, I think we're doing this for a little bit of closure, but also this is something we shouldn't give up on because of like how hard we've worked on it. It's not just completing it, you know, I really feel like that this fashion career's class is a family and a lot of us put a lot of I guess it is still a lot of time and effort, but it's more than that, you know, it's it's something that needs to be completed. It was it wasn't a question in my mind. Hey, it's me Lars again. I am at home right now in my studio. It is currently April 27th. For me, that would be about day 45 in quarantine. my garment and to all my models houses so they can try it on and like take videos and stuff for the final video. I love editing so I'm just using a lot of different apps and I'm using a fish eye which is really fun. So since my collection is grunge streetwear I decided that I wanted to do something that would fit that aesthetic so I decided to go to the bottom floor of my apartment. I don't know how much that reads because it's pretty straight on the shot, but it is cool. I did a lot of research and then, you know, come later, I realized there's 3D scanning. I was like, let's try 3D scanning. I drove and dropped off the clothes at the front door of the houses of all the models. They just filmed themselves like with their phone camera, just like posing, doing really like, Movements. I had my concerns about how those, that some of them were going to work on the actual runway. So it was sort of in that space, like really just in construction mode. I definitely feel like doing this makes me feel a lot better. And like I'm glad that we're still able to show off what we've done. Fashion is way more than just, you know, sewing and putting something together. It's like self-expression and um, you know just living your life the way you want to live it. Fashion means almost everything to me just because it's always been my way of self-expression. Fashion has always kind of been like my getaway. So I mean fashion is a release um, for me. Designing and fashion is been the thing I've been doing every day because I feel like without it, I would be lost. I wouldn't have anything to do and I would be going crazy. This has been a good time for me to be creative because I have a lot of emotions right now, obviously, and it's like a good outlet for me to express how I'm feeling right now. I think I can speak for class of 2020. It kind of felt like the universe was like throwing this big thing at us and, and was like, okay, like how are you guys gonna handle this? So I feel like we were definitely all tested in our own ways. Just because it feels like it's the end of the world, it's just the beginning of going into something else and that's really what my collection is about.
Students World Changers, and with all my heart, I firmly believe that. The first time Miss Chang ever called us World Changers, it actually like really hit my heart. I guess my junior year, I didn't really believe her. And I was like, how the heck am I gonna change the world? Like, I'm like a 16 year old kid in Fairfax County. Like, how is that gonna happen? A lot of the times when you're in high school, you know, you're really, you're really broken down or, or people really will parade you and make you feel truly like nothing. But Miss Chang, just with that simple phrase, makes you understand that you're not nothing. And no matter what you do, you will change the world or have an impact at least on the world. She gave us the tools and the strength and the grit to become world changers. I feel like when Miss Chang calls us world changers is because we're gonna be the new generation of the fashion industry. I actually think that there are a lot of problems with the fashion industry, and there's a lot of stuff I don't like about it. Um, but I think that is what drives me to do what I do because I want to fix those things. Seeing that fashion is like the second biggest pollutant in the world, it just makes me want to do something about it. Becoming more eco-conscious and less greedy is one of the biggest things that I need to change. It's our pleasure being on this earth and we should treat it kindly. And I, I think it's a very, very difficult like, subject because it's hard to imagine that we'd be able to really change anything with fast fashion and just the way things have always been. But I think it all just starts with everyone doing their own little part. Our class and like our generation is really going to be the future of this. Like. The way that we are going to change things in the future makes me want to do it even more because there's so much that needs to be changed in the industry. I think that Mrs. Chang, as well as the Academy, really prepared me for the future. Um, they've really taught me how to trust myself um, through their trust in me. Fairfax Academy and Fashion Careers was definitely the jumpstart in my career. It's just taught me so many different things. It's without fashion and without Fairfax, I wouldn't be where I am today.
Let me run around and put your car on cruise and lay back, cause it's the summertime. 